Hi everybody, we're now into the other uh, sign, Taurus. Taurus is a lot different than Aries. Taurus uh, is an earth sign and it uh, is also ruled by the planet Venus and um, it is the bull and it goes, it's associated with the second house in astrology and the birth dates are April 20th through May 20th. But sometimes that varies. It depends on what chart you're looking at. Um, so it's, uh, it's also a fixed sign too. So they could be stubborn. Um, I have my moon in Taurus. So uh, it shows that my emotions are stable. But in order for me to be um, emotionally stable or emotionally um, okay, uh, I need stability in my life. So that's a side note, and we'll start putting all this stuff together soon. So I'm going to read some of these words, and um, there's a whole list. I'm not going to um, type them out or anything, but that will be in my book to come. Um, but the video is to help you understand, and then when we do the course, we'll interact a lot when we could share uh, a little stories here and there about uh, the Taurus energy. But Taurus also um, has to do with our senses. We feel, touch, smell, um, hear, see, um, all that kind of the physical world, not the invisible world. It's all physical. And um, they're practical, they're loyal, they're patient, they're slow. Just think of Earth, you know, it's slow, it's heavy, it doesn't move. Um, that's being stubborn. So they're inflexible. They could be lazy because, you know, they don't like to move uh, the way fire would, you know, um, as far as not fire would, but fire signs uh, would do, like the Aries. They're always jumping around, moving around, high energy. Um, so much energy, they produce a lot of heat. And if you know any fire sign, Aries, uh, or any other fire signs, they're usually warm. You know, they, um, I know they stick their feet out of the bed because it helps them cool down. So they're hot blooded. Uh, they're self reliant. These Taurus people, uh, resourceful. They're grateful. Uh, they're sensual. Like I said, they love the luxuries. Uh, affluent, supportive. They love to have beautiful things around them because they're ruled by Venus. And um, Venus is the planet of love and beauty. Uh, so, you know, well, if you want something that's uh, beautiful, um, it's probably expensive. Um, so I don't see too many people buying a lot of, you know, Picassos at Walmart no offense to Walmart, Walmart, but it's a different feel. So they're also um, supportive. Um, and the farmers, a lot of farmers can be uh, Taurian because they deal with earth and they produce. They have things that um, they grow and it comes out of the earth and it is a resource. It has to do with um, um, money, you know. Hunters, uh, they love and enjoy the taste of uh, the flesh, which is uh, meat, meat, they're carnivores. Uh, they like the feast, they like, because um, they like to take care of themselves as well. Um, just think of them, they like to be in castles or very rich settings. Um, unlike Leo the king, um, they just like to be around uh, royalty and um, they have, they love culture, commerce, simplicity. They're also known to be builders and architects. Um, they're very materialistic. And um, I never thought I was materialistic, but with a moon in Taurus, trust me, I'm materialistic. I like nice things, you know? Ask me to go camping, no. <laughs> I done that, been there, done that, mm, -mm. And even though my moon is in Taurus, you know, it's earthy, too much work. Uh, I don't like to play Cinderella. I did it too long. So um, it's also food and money and uh, the rootedness, you know, going into the earth and being rooted. 
Um, it's also love, decisiveness, and work. So those are some of the key words. Um, they also could be jealous and um, very cautious and efficient. They're industrious, um, loving, and patient, persistent. So a lot of people say to me, oh, I know this, uh, this guy, he's a Taurus, and he's, he's actually, you know, not like that at all. How come? Well, the reason is because there are other planets involved. And remember, when we look at this wheel, you know, when we look at the sky the moment you were born, you have every sign in your horoscope. But it depends what position and what planets are is in that wheel. And it tells a story. Uh, so we can never just go by the sun sign, but that's where you shine. So all these signs that I'm reading about are in your chart. So it's good to know a couple of key words, but I like to give all the words because if eh, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't resonate, it's because we have to look at other aspects of your chart. So I hope all is well with you. If you have any questions, you know what to do. And thank you for joining me in this teaching series.